Okay, back with another patching tip video on the Behringer 2600. In my previous video, I mentioned that I had been patching to the ring mod output as an input and getting some kind of interesting effects. So we're gonna explore that a little bit. I still haven't figured it out, but I'll show you some interesting sounds I've been getting. So first off, this patch is just um, not what I'm showing, but just what I have up. It's just a ring mod patch. Um, can re-trigger the envelope. And I'm playing it from a MIDI keyboard here. So what I've been doing is going from the filter out into the preamp. You can use the VCA out or the headphone out, but you'll have to invert the VCA or headphone to get this effect. So from the filter to the um, preamp, wrong plug. Um, the ring mod is going to the filter and the VCA. So if we go out from the preamp into either input of the ring mod, we get a bit of a feedback loop. But there's a third option, we can go to the ring mod output.
So I guess I wasn't really saying anything. Um, we had the envelope re-triggering that whole time, which was affecting the feedback loop a little bit. So this is just the filter going into the preamp, into the ring mod output, and then back to the um, filter and VCA. Both the ring mod inputs are down. If we plug into one of them, it's uh, much different. So I don't really know what's going on here. I actually think it's going from the ring mod output reverse through the preamp into the filter output as an input. I think is what's going on, but I'm not sure. VCA instead we don't get anything but if we invert it it will work So the headphone out will work as well if you're inverting. So run it through the lag processor. So we'll go out from the inversion to the lag. So just another way to get some different sounds out of this thing. Uh, if anybody figures out what's going on here exactly, I guess let me know in the comments. I'd like to know. Uh, thanks for watching.